All right, we've got a quadratic we want to solve here. So x squared plus 4x plus 10 equals 0. Now we've got different methods we could solve this. I'm going to go ahead and complete the square on this one to kind of re review that process with you. So our goal again is to figure out what can we plug in for x that makes this equation true. So to do that I'm going to complete the square. So x squared plus 4x plus something equals negative 10. Now what did I just do? So I subtracted 10 over to the other side just to get it ready. And I like to leave a space right here to kind of remind me what am I doing. So to complete the square, remember this middle term is the key. So if I do half of 4 and then square it, so half of 4 is 2 squared, of course it's still 4. Now make sure you add it to both sides. Basic principle in algebra, right? We've got to do the same thing to both sides, keep our equation balanced. Now that 4 made this a nice perfect square. It's going to factor really, really nicely for us. So it's going to become x plus 2 squared equals, now negative 10 plus 4, negative 10 plus 4, so that's going to be negative 6. Now again, where did this come from? Remember, when we factor multiples or factors of this that add to make 4, well of course it's 2 in this case, right? And this will always be a perfect square. It's going to factor down to some nice form like this. Now the power of this is we can take the square root of both sides. So if I square root both sides, I now get plus or minus square root of negative 6. Of course, square root of this just makes our square go away. Uh, now this negative under the radical means we have imaginary solutions. Square root of 6 won't simplify down. So x equals, let's subtract that 2 over, plus or minus square root of 6 times i. Basically that negative under the radical we can just pull out and write it as an i. And there are our two solutions.